The nose is a vastly important sense, but there are some smells that just feel right. Why is that? Hey friends, Trace here. Thanks for tuning into D-News. Your nose is more sensitive than you think. Your favorite smell is probably tied to a memory, likely from your childhood. The nose is one of the strongest ways to trigger memories because it's tied right into the limbic system, which is responsible for regulating emotion. When we smell something like chlorine from a pool, for example, we may tie that to a specific happy memory. Then over time, that melds into kind of a happy feeling whenever we're experiencing that odor. The key to smelling objects in our environment are VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. For example, old books. According According to the International League for Antiquarian Booksellers, I bet you their annual meetings are a hoot, we like book smell because of lignin, which smells a bit like vanilla and is found in wood-based paper. In 2009, a study found that as the glue, paper, and ink start to break down and biodegrade, they release dozens of VOCs. They describe the smell as grassy notes with a tang of acids and a hint of vanilla over an underlying mustiness. Sounds kind of nice. That new car smell is actually a combination of hundreds of glues, fabrics, cleaners, solvents, and chemicals giving off VOCs to create that bouquet of aromatic newness, which we like because we tie it in our memories to a brand new car. Interestingly, car manufacturers are trying to knock back these smells because some of them can be toxic. Speaking of cars, the smell of gasoline is a big one. Scientists aren't sure why we like this one so much, perhaps because benzene and hydrocarbons, which make up petroleums, can damage brain cells and cause a drug-like high, but more likely it has to do with happy memories, like the chlorine. For me, gasoline smells are tied not only to cars, but also to the lawnmower, which means grass. Who doesn't like the smell of fresh cut grass? It is like the best. Of course, grass doesn't like it, because that particular VOC is a trigger that the plant is being attacked and is calling for backup. If a caterpillar were eating a leaf, for example, the leaf would release a VOC, which predators of that caterpillar would know meant, help, help, he's eating me. Mmm, I love the smell of grass distress in the morning. Across the planet, there's another smell that gets people sighing, and that's the smell after a summer rain. <sighs> That one is another complex blend of VOCs, which a pair of Australian scientists dubbed Petrichor. These scientists believe that smell is due to a blend of oils secreted by plants and animals. And it's not just big plants and animals either. Bacteria living in forested areas produce something called geosmin, which our nose can detect with as few as five molecules in a trillion. Ozone is another part of summer storms. You may have smelled it when you ran an electric drill, for example. It's created by lightning shearing through the air and causing oxygen atoms to bind into threes. It's also easy to pick up on a breeze, which might explain that smell before a a lightning storm too. What is your favorite smell in the whole world? Share it with us here in the comments, and if you're available, you should definitely stop by our Google Plus Hangout on June 27th too, where you can talk to us about anything you want. Smell you later, guys.